Studies have shown us over and over again that people who feel that their lives have a lot of meaning end up living much more fulfilling lives. But we don't always know how to achieve that. So today we're going to talk about 10 different ways that we can add more meaning into our own lives. Welcome back. My name is Nina and I'm a life coach that specializes in personal development. Here at this channel, we talk about everything having to do with our emotional well-being, understanding our own psychology and leading our best life possible. So if you aren't already a subscriber, please take a moment and become one. We definitely want you to stay connected. Having a great sense of purpose and meaning in your life can make a huge impact on the amount of happiness and joy that we actually feel. It can be the difference between jumping out of bed in the morning because we're excited to start the day or feeling that we want to just stay in bed because we don't feel like getting out of the bed is even worth the effort that it will take. So how can we really cultivate this sense of meaning in our life? Well, today we'll go over 10 different strategies that we can start implementing right away to really give us a sense of true meaning and purpose in our life. The first thing that we need to do is to truly establish what things do hold meaning to us. It's sad, but so many of us spend our lives the majority of time doing things that we don't actually care about, things that really hold no true meaning for us. So sitting down and really establishing what brings us joy, what brings us happiness, what gives us inspiration, what are we curious about, what do we want for the future, knowing what things are important to us really is the first step in achieving these things in our own lives. The second thing we need to do is to really simplify our life and pare down on the things that really hold no meaning for us. So if we have established what has meaning for us, we can look at all the things that we are spending our time, money and energy on that really don't fall into that category and start to make some hard decisions about those things because we only have enough emotional energy for so many things. So if we are stuffing our lives with things that we don't care about, ultimately that does not give us enough time and energy to really enjoy and take part in those things that really do have meaning for us. The third thing that we need to do is to learn to stop caring so much about what other people think. I know it feels noble or feels like an obligation, but in reality, when we are shaping our life by trying to make other people happy, we're not serving our own self and our own needs, which will never allow us to have a life that truly feels that it has meaning or purpose to us. It may be making someone else happy, but it's certainly not making us happy and will never give us that sense of fulfillment that we're truly looking for. The fourth thing that we need to do is to learn to truly practice mindfulness. I know that this is something that we toss around a lot and we talk about, but it's so rarely truly practiced. So by mindfulness, I simply mean that we need to be really experiencing the moments in our life as they are actually happening. We need to be aware. We need to be in the now. So often we are multitasking or we're stuffing our life with so many things that we really can't pay attention to what is actually happening now. So we are ruminating over the past. We are worrying about the future and we just have so many things going on that we're not focused on our life as it is happening in real time. So if we can learn to practice mindfulness, it's going to show us that our life actually does have meaning if we could just experience it as it is actually happening. The fifth thing that we need to do is to learn to slow down. Even after we've removed the things in our life that are really cluttering up our life, we still have this basic habit of really rushing through all our activities. We need to make sure that we learn to slow down and really enjoy and appreciate all the things that are happening. We don't want to rush through life. We don't want our life to be a blur. We want to be emotionally present for all these things and give every experience enough time to unfold fully. The sixth thing that we can do is to learn to really notice all the good in our life that is already there and to practice gratitude. So, so many times 
we are, you know, rushing through life like we talked about and we're missing all these wonderful aspects. So we really have to learn to pay attention and notice all those beautiful little miracles that are happening during the day. All those things that we take for granted, really taking the time to see them and appreciate them and to express our gratitude. Gratitude really needs to be a way of life, not something that we practice sometimes, but a lens through which we actually see the world. Something that I like to do personally is to keep a gratitude journal. I make it a part of my self-growth journal and I just write down every single day all the things that I'm truly grateful for in life and in that day in particular. So that is a wonderful practice that you can also try to incorporate in your life as well. The seventh thing that we can do is to actually set meaningful goals. So maybe we have determined during this process that we really don't have a lot of things in our life that we are incorporating that really give us that sense of purpose. Taking the time to set goals that do inspire us and that we do feel will ultimately give us a sense of meaning, not only when we achieve them, but also during the process inside this journey to the goal is going to automatically make our lives feel that it has a lot more meaning because we are working towards something that is actually meaningful. The eighth thing that we can do is to start pursuing passions. So once we have eliminated these things in our life that are just taking up our time and energy that we don't care about, we can start engaging in the activities that are fun and exciting for us. So maybe we want to start tennis lessons. Maybe we want to finally start that blog we've been talking about. But taking the time to start to incorporate these things that we are actually passionate about on a regular basis is of course going to give our life a sense of purpose and meaning. The ninth thing that we can do is to break out of our comfort zone. So it doesn't matter if our lives actually do have meaning. If we are living our life every single day and one day is a repeat of the next, we are going to get bored and we're not going to realize how much meaning our life actually has. So we need to shake things up. We need to break the routine and get out of the comfort zone so we can offer ourselves new opportunities and new things to do to really, you know, get excited and passionate about life. And when we're excited about life, we can see again how much meaning that our life actually does possess. And ultimately, even if we decide that our life really doesn't have a lot of meaning, breaking out of the comfort zone provides us with opportunities to finally have experiences that we believe really do have meaning for us. And the 10th thing that we can do is to give back more. So sometimes we feel that our life doesn't have meaning because it feels self-centered, but if we can extend past ourselves and do things that really serve others, it can often immediately give us a sense of real purpose in our life. So looking for ways that we can volunteer, that we can offer our services and help other people is going to give us that wonderful feeling that we are making a difference by what we can offer to humanity and in the lives of other people. So those are the 10 tips that I can offer to truly help bring that meaning and purpose back into your life. We need to remember that life really is a journey and not a destination and filling that journey with things that really show us that our life has value, has purpose, has meaning is definitely going to help us lead that life that is much more fulfilling and ultimately a lot more happy. So I hope this video was helpful to you and if it was, please like it and share it with someone else who may need to hear the same message today. Also, again, if you aren't already a subscriber, please take a moment and become one. We definitely want you to stay connected. And I thank you so much for spending time with me today. Have an absolutely amazing day.